Hi everyone, I'm Colin, and this is a blurb about the future of the Magic Box YouTube channel. The Magic Box show has gone through some pretty major shakeups. For one thing, we lost our main location. If you watch the videos that were produced in 2012, you'll see that we're usually sitting up in a storefront window. That store was Fun City, and which is no longer. It's gone out of business. It doesn't exist anymore. It will be missed, and uh, thanks guys for letting us do the show there as long as we did. We had a blast. So we're looking for new locations. Uh, for instance, other local small businesses that are interested in receiving the free publicity of having a talk show produced on the premises of your store or nightclub or whatever it may be, uh, please get a hold of us about that. We'd be very interested in working with you. The other thing I want to tell people about is that I've been working with my friend and business partner, Isaac Collins, who is also known as Lyrical Eye. That's kind of his hip-hop street poetry name. And we've been working together to establish uh, two sister entertainment uh, film production companies that are known as Fun City Entertainment and Fun City Productions. And we're going to do all kinds of different multimedia projects with these companies, but the big thing we're working on, uh, our first feature-length film that we intend to create is... Uh, that's what this is all about that you see behind me right here. Uh, the film is going to be a swashbuckling epic based on true historical events. Doesn't have a title yet, but that'll give you uh, something of an idea of what it's going to be about. And uh, this will give you kind of a visual feel for what kind of a movie it's going to be. We want to do a lot of the special effects with scale models, kind of harkening back to 70s and 80s era George Lucas and Steven Spielberg when they would shoot uh, their special effects with little models uh, before the advent and rise of digital special effects, which are in vogue in Hollywood now, but I think are kind of overrated, actually. Uh, I think they're popular because they're cheap and uh, not very labor intensive in comparison to uh, doing in-camera effects and uh, sort of an easy way to drum up another monster. Uh, I really am excited about the idea of doing some film production that really delves into the history of special effects uh, bring back some lost techniques that uh, I think work quite well and have resulted in some pretty epic films. The Star Wars series, Indiana Jones, Close Encounters of the Third Kind, Ray Harryhausen, that sort of thing. So if you're interested in that, uh, we're looking for artisans, people who would be on the film crew, people to be in the cast of our movies, so performers, um, people with deep pockets to fund and underwrite our endeavors, and while we prefer large donations, no donation is too small, so uh, consider some generosity toward being able to say that you had a hand in helping create a really awesome independent film production company that would be really cool uh, thanks for your time uh, I'm gonna be putting together kind of a more extensive uh, slickly produced well edited uh, presentation about the swashbuckling epic film to uh, give people a better introduction to what we have envisioned for that. So uh, that's another thing that's on the horizon. Uh, so keep a lookout for that.
thanks for your time. And, uh, oh, just two more things. What I want to say is I'm also working with my friend Thomas Hayes and Stephanie and some other people on Pangea Archival Network, which will be making documentary films. So look for that and on the internet and on Facebook and that sort of thing. And as people who've been watching the channel might know, I was uh, kind of unceremoniously booted from the apartment I was in before. Happy to say I'm no longer homeless. In fact, I'm coming to you from the new room where I live. This is it right here. So that's an exciting new development. I have this nice window to look out of. And I am just pleased as punch about that. It's much better than having to live on the streets. So I'm doing a lot better. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll talk to you later.